Hey good people, it is the Shower from Politics and Fashion here today with a video that is all about how we take our outfits from work to weekend. I really want to encourage us in this video to get the biggest bang for our buck as it relates to our wardrobe. Too often I find that folks have a section that is just for work in their closet versus thinking about interchangeability and how we can wear those same clothes that we wear to work Monday to Friday, either in the evenings for happy hour or date night, and of course also on the weekend. Now I've partnered with M.M. LaFleur for this video and I have some great, great, great pieces to show you. I am going to give you some style tips. I'm going to show you how to accessorize pieces. So if that sounds good to you, make sure you stick around my friend. Before I keep going though, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Follow me all across the internet. Tune into my podcast justice and let's get started So I've definitely made the mistake in my life of only having work wear, only having those pieces that I wear nine to five, Monday through Friday. Since becoming a solopreneur and not feeling like I have those office constraints, it has allowed for me to think a little bit more creatively. And everything that I'm gonna share with you today, I would definitely wear to work, wear to an equity training, for example, or have worn to the office when I was working in public policy, but I would also wear on the weekends. and so. I feel like I've actually found that sweet spot of being able to maximize interchangeability. Uh, as a matter of fact, I talk about this quite often, and it is the foundational principle in my newest ebook, How to Declutter Your Wardrobe and Curate a Closet That You Love. I will make sure that it is linked down below. My friends over at, at M.M. LaFleur have also made this process so easy. It is a woman-owned brand. They have showrooms in several major cities across the country where you can go in, make an appointment with a personal stylist, and they will outfit you head to toe in MM pieces. And what I love about what they do is not only do they have this keen eye towards the MM aesthetic, but they also talk you through and coach you about how to wear their pieces multiple ways. For MM, it is definitely about quality over quantity. The pieces are made out of great materials. They have style flair to them and they also have accessories and they have shoes. It is a great brand to invest in if you were looking to really heighten your wardrobe essential game, your workwear game, and you want to make sure that you can also wear those pieces in multiple ways. Now, if you follow me over on Instagram, then you know that the dress that I'm wearing today is actually by M.M. LaFleur. It is part of my capsule collection with the brand. I did an amazing capsule collection a few months ago. I'll make sure it is linked down below, as well as an interview in their M-Online magazine that I believe really highlighted all of the principles that I live by. You can see as far as my style is concerned, and you can see how that aligns with M.M. I can't think of a better brand partner for my aesthetic. My style pillar which you all will see in my ebook is called elevated simplicity and that means that I love to take a wardrobe essential and give it a twist like I have with this dress by partnering it with the low wave OB belt. I will have pictures on the screen so you can see how I styled it also wearing a pair of western boots but because I've already styled this I want to hop into something else that you all have not seen before and that is this two-piece set. I wanted to choose this two-piece set you all because I know we all live in a variety of climates. If you are like me and you live in the northeast even farther north than where I am in the Washington DC metro then it actually is still pretty cool especially in the morning or late evening and so this two-piece set I am in love with number one because of the weaving of the fabric um, and also I'm a coordinated set gal y'all know this about me I have never met a coordinated set that I have not loved and so it has this kind of sweater uh, effect up top although the crochet the knit here does have holes in it so that means that it is more than breathable I think if you were in a cooler climate or a cooler time of year you could definitely wear a long sleeved shirt underneath this to kind of pack the heat in but this time of year when you do of course want to have a breathable material on the holes in this are great as far as the loose knit or the loose weave is concerned. 
but the skirt is a pencil skirt y'all it is a pencil skirt uh and it has two slits on the side as well for me at my height it's going to come right below the knees it may be more of like a midi length on someone who is a bit shorter than me so keep that in mind i love the way that it hugs the curves the silhouette is absolutely absolutely delicious and don't worry although this has a looser weave i mean they both do what this has going for itself is that it is completely lined okay it is completely lined and that is one of the things y'all that i absolutely love about mm lafleur it's always those small style details that for me separate the real from the fake okay we got no time for fake ones we sip in cristal with real ones and this is a real one set for me because they've thought about those important details as far as you going into the office out and about you don't want everything to be easy breezy coming through the bottom maybe you do because that is part of my politics but everyone does not everyone does not and i understand that so this being lined is wonderful it also has a fair amount of stretch to it that i want to show you all again it's all about comfort for me and the ability to have it have stretch, my G, is clutch for sure. The workwear way that I style this look is by taking the hem of the top and simply tugging it into the waistband of the skirt. Because it is all gray and I feel like it's so easy, I'm queen of neutrals, okay? It's so easy to just keep your workwear palette all neutral. I did want to bring in a pop of color. I'm wearing a pair of orange orange Chanel sling bags here. Um, they are mesh and suede at the toe cap and also on the heel. I feel like the block heel works very well because it's comfortable. And this for me says that, you know, I am running things. Okay. Uh, Susan, make sure the agenda is created for our meeting today at noon. I'm walking in. Why is no one ready you remember that the devil wears Prada I'm walking in I'm sitting down the agenda shall be in front of me and let's get this thing on the road but by the way check the footwork okay because I also have style and flair at the same time it gives big balls it really does especially when we pair it with this tote it is a leather tote by Teddy Blake okay this whole look for me comes together so effortlessly especially when we also add an accessory to it I am wearing a necklace by M.M. LaFleur it is a double chain I had this on the last time I saw my BFF Margo, one half of my podcast Justice. And a few days later, she hit me and she was like, girl, I cannot stop thinking about that necklace that you were wearing. Where is it from? And I said, it's M.M. LaFleur, okay? So let's not forget about ways that we can accessorize our outfits and M.M. LaFleur has great accessories. Now let's take it to the weekend and one of the ways you all that I always think about paring something down whether it be a pair of slacks or it might be a skirt like I'm wearing here is to pair it with a graphic tee even a suit I feel like graphic tees are just so cool cool and so chic they give off-duty model for sure and what I've done is taken this tee by honor the gift it is a brand by the basketball player Russell Westbrook which I've mentioned to you all before I think all the pieces are amazing street style pieces and I brought that element into this look by simply tying the shirt in a knot in the front let me just say anybody anybody turn to your neighbor and say anybody can tie their shirt in a knot as a matter of fact i believe no matter your age your shape your size etc that little peak of skin that's right there it is the one and not the two it instantly makes a look more sexy it instantly makes a look look more edgy now if that's not for you no worries you can always 
tuck, I would do a half tuck, a t-shirt in, a graphic tee in, and let the back kind of hang a bit, especially because the casualness of that is a great juxtaposition with a pair of heels. I am wearing this pair of stiletto mules, which I don't wear a lot anymore, but I felt like, once again, I was trying to juxtapose that casual nature of the top by Loewe Bay, and they have this really cool, like, seat buckle effect at the toe and then because I mean what would the outfit be without a little sum caped over those Patti LaBelle shoulders I'm gonna always give you that I'm wearing another M.M. LaFleur piece, which is this really cool cropped jacket. It almost has like a lightweight denim vibe, which is perfect to actually wear in a more casual way. By the way, it also has a pair of matching pants that I've styled over on Instagram. Love the way that this look came together, especially because I've also put on a pair of oversized Tom Ford aviators with it that just hit the entire thing out of the park. This is 100% me and a great way to take a work wear piece into the weekend. Work to weekend outfit number two is featuring this M.M. LaFleur striped dress. This is the perfect dress for this time of year. Dare I even say it's the perfect dress to take traveling as well because you're going to see the way that I am able to make this both office and weekend appropriate. But let me just talk about the dress a little bit more. I have it in a size medium. The other two pieces were also in a size medium by the way. And what I love about it is that it could just be kind of a classic simple button down dress. However, what MM has done is brought some design flair to it. And that is by having this tie in the front, which I think is so dope. When I first saw it online, I really couldn't tell how it was made. But essentially what it is, is y'all, this piece of fabric that you can tie as high or as low as you want it. And it is attached to the dress. And so that makes it very comfortable to move. It's not like, you know, this part here is sewn together. It's the little things. And so this is all one flap of fabric. It's cotton, so it is extremely breathable, of course. And I'm a snob, I'm gonna admit it. This button right here, is covered. What we're talking about today is how we introduce quality garments into our wardrobe over quantity. You're not gonna get a cover button everywhere. Let's just be honest, okay? M.M. LaFleur is going to give you a covered button and we are here for it for sure. Now, I've already told you my height. I am part of the Amazonian delegation here at the Fashion UN, okay? So at almost six feet tall, this does come for me a little above my knees. Now, once again, I'll jump out here with a little thigh meat at work, but I recognize everyone is not like that. And so for me, instead of wearing this as a dress to the office, I've done something that y'all are about to be so excited about. Girl, why I put it on with a pair of silk trousers? You weren't ready for that. I wasn't ready for that. When it popped into my mind, I was like, well done, my good and faithful servant. Look at how this has come together. How it has come together. I am so here for this kind of light and airy summer outfit, okay? It feels like you are going into the office to once again handle business, to be the big boss. But at the same time, you understand style, you understand fashion, okay? You keep your office door open because you're approachable. That's, that's what it's giving to me. But at the same time, you will sit down during a performance review and you'll read the girls. You'll let them know about those, uh, the, the, the PIP. Okay, you might have to put somebody on a performance improvement plan, but at the same time, they can't feel bad because look at the look. Look at the look that you're blessing them with. The pants, once again, are silk. I love a good tailored trouser for sure, and I think having them accompany this dress almost worn as a tunic definitely works. And I want it, once again, to kind of push against this notion that we cannot wear color to the office. And so what I did was I paired it with a pair of Fendi 
sandals. These are kind of like a very interesting geometric wedge. They're vintage. I've had them for some years. I will make sure I link something similar, however, because I think the multiple colors here also works in the outfit. And it's just something that I think for this time of year especially, it is so great to go into an office with. Imagine putting this on when you come back from vacation. You and Beta spent time in one of those uh, bungalows that are perched in the water over in the Maldives. So your co-workers are already jealous. Number one, because you got a bay and your bay is fine. Number two, because y'all vacationed down in the Maldives. Now you come back into the office after a two-week vacation and you got this on? Girl. Log out. Log out. This is one of those outfits where you are going unnecessarily to check your cubby in the front. You don't get no mail at your job. You're going unnecessarily to the kitchen. You didn't even bring your lunch. It doesn't matter, okay? You're going to the kitchen. You're filling your water bottle up multiple times because the girls are gonna get into it. That's what this outfit gives. For accessories, I brought back out that Teddy Blake leather tote, but I also put on a pair of kind of rose tinted lens aviators. These are super affordable. They are by Lulu's the brand. If I can find something similar, I will also link it. I wanted to just again give this outfit an airy light vibe and I think the Sunnies definitely did it. So that is the workwear way that I would wear this dress. Now let's get into the weekend. The first thing I would do you all is go ahead and unbutton the buttons. It's no way. We don't have to be all the way up here during the weekend, okay? We're gonna unbutton this, we're gonna get on the clavicle ministry, but we're also gonna take it, bam, pop it off the shoulder, and once again, give them a little Patti LaBelle shoulder, okay? Uh, when I realized that this could do that, I said, okay, we've hit the jackpot with this dress because it instantly brings it so much sex appeal. It makes it seductive. I happen to think that this part of anyone's body is one of the most sexiest parts of their body. Also, the shoulder. Girl, you mess around, put some body oil, some body shimmer on the shoulder, and you let that thing out. They're not ready. They are not ready. Now, because it's summer and I wanted to bring in an additional texture, I did go for my Sam Edelman Raffia heels. These have an amazing front to them that have these kind of three Raffia pom-poms as well as a wider martini glass style heel. They actually strap up around the ankle. I actually feel like this is the outfit that is not only great for brunch, but also many of you may know that the Vuv Clicquot Polo Classic is coming coming up and this is the kind of dress the entire outfit because the shoes are very comfortable that I would definitely throw on for that kind of occasion grab you a cute little parasol girl and also maybe a hat okay bring in maybe a pink or a green and it's the perfect outfit for a special event outside maybe even a summer wedding I've also paired it with a clutch this one is by Target it is kind of like a woven knit that I grabbed last year I just think it's so easy to carry you can throw it in the washing machine and it also I think pairs well with the shoes by Sam Edelman once again it's a shoulder for me it's the legs for me and I'm also here for the accessories. So easy to wear. Throw this in your suitcase for vacation. I promise you, you will not be disappointed. And that is the casual way that I would wear this dress. Let's get into another coordinated set. And this one is a silk top and skirt. Now, just like the first coordinated set, obviously we can break these things up and we, we can wear them a multitude of ways. I love it, number one, because it's silk. I think nothing kind of elevates a workwear outfit like silk. But also for me, this kind of animal print, y'all, is a neutral is a neutral, is a neutral, is a neutral. I think it looks great with red. It looks great with metallics. It looks great with any primary color, honestly. There are just too many ways to count that I could wear something like this. And what I've done for work is, of course, worn the top and the skirt together. The top, by the way, is a medium. The skirt is a four, but only because I had this for some time. I've actually shot this before for M.M. LaFleur, and also it sits very high-waisted, and it has a slight A-line to it, so it doesn't hug the hips. Um, however, what I probably would do if I was getting this today is have gotten it in a size six. 
Overall, though, I find that if you are between sizes, you could definitely go down in M.M. LaFleur's sizing. However, what I've done for work is worn it with a pair of just basic black pumps. These pumps, y'all, are so incredibly comfortable. They are suede. I love the heel height on them. I feel like oftentimes for work like I did with the first outfit, we tend to go for a short, chunky heel, which is great, don't get me wrong. But there are times where we can also find a pair of very well-made heels that have a bit of a higher heel, and I think that just kind of elevates a particular silhouette if we are comfortable in a higher heel, okay? These are by Shoots, but MM also makes heels that I'll make sure that I link down below because I thought to myself okay this is a great just top and bottom no fuss easy to wear you go in your closet you don't even have to think about it how would I add an additional layer to it and what I did was I pulled back out that black jacket that I told you all about um, earlier in one of the previous outfits because I feel like instead of wearing a blazer why not do something different a black blazer would be amazing here, and M.M. has great black blazers. But if we don't have to wear a blazer and we do want to make something look a bit more approachable in the office, for example, why not put this jacket on? It's cropped. It has the oversized, almost cargo-like pockets. Cargo is trending right now. Again, we're trying to get the biggest bang out, out of our buck. And so if you have this jacket, which by the way, I would highly recommend and you have the pants that match, here's a way to then bring that jacket over to another look. I think that it is no nonsense, no fuss, easy to wear for sure. Who doesn't love an elevated coordinating set, but also who doesn't love in general just a button down? Now I mentioned that cargo was trending and, and I decided to bring this button down over to that trend once again with a pair of high-waisted cargo pants. These y'all are super affordable. I actually got them from ASOS and I had to get them tailored quite a bit in the waist, but they're high-waisted. They look good, once again, with that trick that I told you all about, which is to show that little peak of skin. We need a name for that. What is that? Is it stomach meat? It's, I guess it's technically midriff, but it's a little bit smaller. It's like a quarter midriff, okay? Show a little bit of that area right there. And I decided to also bring in another pair of high heels. I'm wearing those Loewe heels once again with this outfit. This is something that I would definitely wear to my favorite restaurant in town, for example. I went to RPM recently. It was absolutely delicious. I cannot wait to go back. And I felt like the ambiance really gave rise to like a cool girl aesthetic where you could be dressed up, but you don't have to do too much. And this is what this look is giving for me, especially because the shirt is silk. And because I have kind of dinner, date night in mind, I am gonna wear a smaller bag here. And this one, is is my small Valentino vanity bag. If I was wearing sunnies, I probably would go for something dark like my Fendi Cat Eye Sunnies. But overall, I think that once again, it gives that cool girl vibe to it. And I love the entire look. I've already mentioned suiting in this video and what would a workwear video be without suiting? A good old suit. But we're going to give you today a suit with a twist. Now, the jacket and the pants that go along with this are at the dry cleaners. But I had to at least pull the vest out because when was the last time you saw a women's suit with a vest? I'm so here for this. The color being like this um, caramel sienna color is so absolutely delicious. The fact that it is three pieces but doesn't give deacon board is just absolutely delicious. The lightweight fabric of it so that you don't have to worry about sweating bullets on your way to work on the metro is absolutely delicious. And what I love about the blazer too, y'all, is that you actually can tie it to cinch the waist to give it kind of like this really amazing almost hourglass silhouette. I happen to like more of a boxy, oversized blazer cut. But if you were someone who wants to cinch that waist, keep in mind that you can do this. Small details once again that M.M. LaFleur gives you. And guess what? The ties aren't even on the outside. The ties are on the inside. So they're hidden away. Meanwhile, 
your waist is snatched, you're welcome. I didn't create it, I didn't design it, but I'm still gonna say you're welcome because I know you appreciate that, okay? <laughs> and because I have workwear in mind and for me a suit gives off just androgyny naturally and I do kind of love to blur that line, I decided instead of wearing a pair of heels, for me I'm going to wear a pair of loafers. These are patent leather. Always a great idea when you are wearing something that is monochrome, so all the same color, to pull in a different texture. And so the patent leather, I think, really gives the outfit a pop. These are by Loewe. Um, I grabbed them from the outlet, so I know they are no longer available, but I will link something similar down below for sure. They have probably about an inch and a half heel, so a little bit of elevation, I think, makes the outfit um, a bit more feminine, even though I am wearing loafers. So keep something like that in mind, but they're also incredibly 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 comfortable i actually wore this entire outfit doing a an, an equity training for a group of um homelessness service providers here in the dc metro um people just literally could not stop talking about the suit everyone in the training was like where did you get this suit from i need this suit talk to me about the suit and it was uh, people who dressed both masculine feminine it was all genders all shapes all sizes people were into the suit you cannot go wrong with the suit trust me and also what i love is that you could very easily wear the vest or not as a matter of fact i would go to the office with just the vest and the pants on and leave the jacket at home or put on a cute little camisole underneath maybe something that is patterned if you're into florals for example and then wear the blazer or girl what if you wore a short or a long sleeved silk top underneath and you wore the vest open. Once again, you're welcome. You are welcome, okay? Now let's hop over to how I would wear this casually. I think the material of this suit makes it almost a no-brainer to style on the weekend or after work. And for me, I thought about what would I wear if I was out running errands, but I still want it to look put together. Maybe I was gonna go out with my mother-in-law for lunch really quickly, slide past Home Depot and do a little shopping down at Saks, okay? And so I want an outfit that is gonna look good on any MLK Boulevard. It's gonna transcend all of those environments <laughs> and for me what I would do we're back to that little mid drift up top okay the the quarter mid drift so I would put on a um crop top here my favorite ones y'all are from Aritzia this one is from Target so I keep many in rotation I then put the vest on top of it I have on the pants once again and I want to be comfortable so I am wearing a pair of flat sandals these are by Hermes and I thought that the metallic really went nicely with the color of the vest and the pants and the sole of course is black I am wearing those Fendi Cat Eye Sunnies that I mentioned to you already to really pull the look together, as well as a leopard print bag. This, I think, is just perfect as far as capturing all of the colors that are in the look. This is by Brandon Blackwood. It has a crossbody strap as well as a top handle. I typically wear it as a top handle bag. It's easy, right? This is what Mackenzie's mom would wear when she's taking her mother-in-law out to lunch on a Saturday. Or maybe they're going for tea at La Durée, okay? This is what she would put on. It's real easy to wear. She just feels so put together. The fact that she can wear it to work and also wear it on the weekend definitely takes the entire look up a notch. And that is it, good people. Thank you so much for watching today's video in partnership with M.M. LaFleur, all about taking outfits from work to weekend. I hope you have found some style inspiration in this video. Please let me know down below which outfit was your favorite. We would love to know. Follow me all across the internet and I will see you good people next time. Peace.